In a major development, Australia's participation in the upcoming Malabar 2020 exercise with the navies of United States, India and Japan has been finalised, and officials have said that the exercise will be conducted in late November in the Indian Ocean. With Australia's participation, all four Quad members will be involved in this year's Malabar exercise, and this development comes after the recently concluded Foreign Minister-level Quad meeting in Tokyo. The Indian Air Force has tested the 20 km range standoff anti-tank missile, which is an extended range version of the 8 km range through Vastra third generation anti-tank guided missile. The Saint is equipped with a new nose-mounted active radar seeker, and officials have said that it will be cleared by the end of 2020, and both the Saint and Drew Vastra systems will be equipped on 60 Rudra armed helicopters and 15 limited series produced light combat helicopters from 2021 onwards, as both the combat helicopters does not have a suitable anti-tank guided missile in their current configuration. A second test of Saint system can also be conducted tomorrow. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said that the hypersonic version of the Brahmos 2 will be based on the scramjet engine developed indigenously by the DRDO, which was previously expected to be a derivative of the Russian Zircon. This statement comes after media speculation that Russia has been non-committal on the transfer of Zircon derivatives or its scramjet engine to India. US, Russia and China are planning to put technical barriers on the hypersonic technology, and they will not supply major components required for its development to other countries. The hypersonic Brahmos 2 powered by an indigenous scramjet engine, will mean that Russia will play a smaller role in the development program, or Russia might completely exit from the program. The Brahmos Aerospace has already carried out a series of lab tests at the speed of Mach 6.5, and the first prototype is expected to be ready for testing in 2024. British experts from the Tempest program who will also visit India for a high-level presentation have said that they are developing a new radar technology that is capable of providing 10,000 times more data than existing systems, and the new multifunction radio frequency sensor system will collect and process unprecedented amounts of information every second, which is equivalent to the internet traffic of a large city. Wearable cockpit technologies are currently being designed, which will replace physical cockpit controls with the augmented and virtual reality displays that will be projected directly inside the visor of the helmet. A virtual co-pilot concept is still being developed, which can interact with the pilot, and can also take on some of the pilot's responsibilities. The navies of India and Sri Lanka have started a three-day military exercise from today, which will feature a series of complex drills including surface subsurface and anti-air tests, as well as cross-deck flying operations to improve the interoperability between the two navies. The current situation in eastern Ladakh region and some long-pending measures to reform the Indian Army will be discussed during the Army Commanders Conference scheduled from 26 to 29 October. The Indian Army wants to cut down on ceremonial practices and non-military activities, to ensure a rational distribution of resources. Oh,